Hi, my name is Spencer Hay. I'm the Chief Science and Product Officer of Prism Bio. In this video, I'm going to be experimenting with Prism's latest product, which is called Knowledge Finder. Knowledge Finder is an information management application designed to take advantage of the latest and greatest in machine learning and generative AI to make it easy to organize, search, chat, and extract knowledge from a library of documents. This is the first in a series of videos that I plan to make where I want to experiment with some new possibilities for scholarly interactions with AI. If you have used tools like ChatGPT, you've probably already seen at this point how you can upload documents and chat with them, asking questions, generating summaries, that sort of thing. Super cool stuff. But I'm curious to try and push this further and start to explore more of the boundaries around how these tools can be used to accelerate learning. So the experiment I'm going to run is based off a graduate seminar on philosophical methods that I taught at Harvard a few years ago. This course was structured like a typical seminar. Each week, we did a close reading of a paper, and one or maybe two students were then responsible for presenting a rational reconstruction of the argument and leading the discussion. So I love teaching this class, and when I reflect back on it, I think all of us, teacher and students, really came away enriched and empowered by the experience. So now what I want to explore, using Knowledge Finder as the instrument, is if I can somehow distill and synthesize the key ideas in the readings that contributed to that empowerment. Or to put it another way, I want to see if I can use AI to generate a more concentrated form of knowledge. So here's my Knowledge Finder library and my collection of articles related to autonomy. This particular paper that I'll focus on is a foundational piece on autonomy by Harry Frankfurt, published in 1971. It's a dense paper, but the AI, of course, doesn't find it daunting at all. You can get it to extract basic facts and summaries and conclusions and that sort of thing. These are all fine, but you can often get more out of large language models by getting a little bit more elaborate with your prompts. So I'm going to give the LLM here a persona and ask it to do essentially what I asked my students to do when they would present the paper, outline the argument and summarize the main conclusions. For me, this is where it starts to get interesting because this is the kind of work that requires a lot of time and our AI is quite good at this, I think. There might be some quibbles with this outline, but on the whole, it's quite a solid abstraction of the contents of the paper. But I don't wanna stop there. Now I want to prompt the AI to provide a more structured representation of the argument. In philosophy, we call this standard form, where we enumerate the premises and the conclusions and the kind of the evidence supporting them. This output is similar in many ways to the outline, except it's actually going steps further toward breaking down and illuminating the real philosophical content. It's not just conclusions, it's the path to those conclusions that is often the most important in a paper. And I found that by breaking this task into two parts, first the outline and summary, and then the standard form reconstruction, the output tends to be higher quality. But I don't want to stop there either. Because I know this paper well, I also want to surface a particular facet of the argument, that is Frankfurt's hierarchical model of desires. And again, the AI is getting this pretty spot on. So if I think about this use case as supporting something like course prep, I could see this process being a huge time saver. So I've read this paper many times, but in prepping to teach it, I often wouldn't want to read the whole thing again. What I want is a good outline and summary, an argument reconstruction, and then some deeper dives into some of the meaty pieces of the argument. But also, if you imagine this as an exercise in understanding a new paper, this flow in Knowledge Finder offers a very fast entry point to get up to speed. It's certainly not a replacement for a close read, but this distillation is still quite valuable, I think, for illuminating the argument. And then it has the virtue of being far more digestible. Now, I'll close this first video with one more prompt that asks the AI to sum up the importance of the argument for, in this case, ethical understanding. Now, I want to save this exchange in a separate document because I actually want to come back to this distillation of Frankfurt after I've run the same sequence on the rest of the papers in the collection. My plan is to see if I can generate these distillations from each paper and then upload the distillation to a new collection and see how well the AI does at synthesizing new ideas for new purposes when it has just this distillation as background. So basically sort of clearing out lots of the other content that might not be so central to the argument and it can just focus on the core ideas and the structure of the arguments. But I'll take that up in the next video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.